Hey there everyone, today we are in Salem, Virginia. We are at Pete's RV Center and we're gonna look at this Jayco Whitehawk. This is the 29RL. Uh, let's take a look. As you come up to the front here, really large storage for a travel trailer. That is it really is great. big. In fact, there's also a table that is here that pulls out, so it's storage for a table. So if you wanna do barbecuing outside, which this is also the spot for you to put your barbecue, which I'm sure they have it tucked away somewhere. So that comes with it, all right? Two doors, <coughs> there is an awning that covers from the back door all the way up to this front door, but the front door is not covered. You do have frameless windows. This is dual axle or tandem axle. They are split apart a little bit, so it's gonna help your traction. Step above step, Asdell siding. Love the White Hawks. As we come around to the back, you have a ladder that is permanently mounted. You have uh, pre-wired for Furion backup camera. I love the fact that your spare tire is mounted to the back bumper. Coming around the side here, you do have your power connection, your city water connection, an outdoor shower right here. Get a good look underneath there. Your sewer connection is right here. Here is the other side of the uh, front storage, which also has your battery disconnect. And here is your black tank flush. All right, let's take a look at the numbers there. Back here, Lisa. This is a gross vehicle weight of 8,750 pounds, and it's got a cargo carrying capacity of 1,376 pounds. All right, coming around to the front. You got two 30 pound protein tanks, electric jack, spot for a couple of batteries. So that's the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. All right, so when you come in, RL stands for rear living. And as you can see, you've entered the living room as you come in. You have your theater chairs here. You have a love seat here that I believe is a jackknife that comes out to be a bed, okay? Um, the theater chairs are manual, meaning there's no electric. You just pull the little thing there and we recline. They come with these cool little TV trays. So if you're watching the TV, which is to Lisa's left, you have some nice TV trays. You do have like a little end table here with power, right? So if you're using the sofa as a bed, there's power for CPAP or whatever. And there's also USB charging ports. And I believe the same thing on the other side, okay? Caddy corner to where I am, next to Lisa there, is where the TV and entertainment system is. It's on a, a swivel, so it can pull out. I'm, I'm not gonna pull it out now, but it does pull out and twist a little bit. You do have an audio system built in. Nice fireplace for Lisa's tiny, freakishly cold feet. Or freakishly tiny freakishly cold Freakishly tiny yes. cold Freakishly feet. tiny cold feet. Yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll get it right, I'm yes. so sorry. Yes, yes. Yes, all right, there's some storage <laughs> up above too. She knows her feet. <laughs> They're tiny. Freakishly <laughs> <Yeah>. tiny. <laughs> Freakishly <laughs> tiny. And then there's a little storage underneath there as oh, well. Oh, look at that. I didn't notice that. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. Uh, I almost feel, and it doesn't, but I, <coughs> excuse me, everybody. I almost feel like you could, there, you could put storage back there, right? Because, I mean, think of it. You're on an angle, mm -hmm. right? So, but, you know, it'd be a great place to, to have some hidden storage. I'm, I'm just saying. All right. <laughs> Your dinette is like a traditional residential dinette to table with four chairs, and the four chairs are always out here. Obviously, you see it's a little bit darker in here with the darker color woods, right? You have valances all the way across. You have your nightshades, right? So that's real nice. So the kitchen, let's get into the kitchen, Lisa. Yeah, we've got a little um, kitchen over here, corner kitchen, um, nice uh, countertop space, um, decent countertop space. Um, I do wish that they had one of the little, little flip-up flip up things yeah. there, but there is power there, which I do like, as well as... Oh, tower of power! God, I hate when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> right now there's actually two lights in the kitchen which I like there's one over the sink and there's one oh, yeah, here in nice. the corner yeah mine just has the one in the corner I like that additional lighting um, we do have a three burner stove we've got a small oven yeah. there's a huge it's drawer right. underneath yeah and then underneath the sink there's plenty of space there, yeah. yeah now the sink is a 50 50 um, it, I love the 50-50. I do, um, I, I'm growing fonder of the ones that have the recess so you can still get your big pots and pans in there, but I like the 50-50. Plenty of um, cabinetry. Oh, and that goes way back yeah, there does. too. Yeah. yeah. We've got our um, microwave, and then we also have a 12 volt refrigerator freezer. Nice. Yeah. Love the wood paneling on the outside. Yeah. Part of the cabinetry. And then, right? 
your your food pantry. Yeah. Uh, it'd be nice if there was at least one more shelf in here, guys. Um, the shelf is actually pretty thick, which is great. Um, but there really needs to be another shelf in there. Yeah, if you're using this as a pantry, I totally agree because your cans yeah. are only this big. Yeah, at least one more shelf, if <laughs> yeah. not two. Right? Yeah. And, and a few drawers there. Yeah, yeah. very yeah. nice. Before we get any further, look at this, guys. Sale price. $38,981, guys. Right. You know what else I like? I like that there's a shade up here right for your skylight you just pull it baby yeah <laughs> just so you just can have it. it you know open if you need the extra light or you can have it closed um you know if somebody's in here trying to sleep or take a yeah, nap that's um, great. It, yeah i like that all right yeah let's move back here what's behind door number one? Oh, you know what time it is it's time for tall man's toilet test <laughs> All right, if this is your first time finding one of our videos, I am six foot four, so use my height as reference as we're walking around the RV. Also, do us a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, become part of the Tall Man Clan. It is free to you, costs you absolutely nothing, and it really does help out the channel, and Lisa and I sincerely appreciate it. So, that being said, I am on a porcelain foot flush toilet, and as you can see, if Lisa gets close to my really dirty sneakers, my foot is just about touching uh, where the shower is. So. I just fit. If they had angled this just a little bit more this way, I mean just a little bit, you'd actually have a lot more clearance. So it's, it's okay. It's definitely okay. Plenty of shoulder room. So it's definitely a thumbs up. It's just, if they angled it, it'd be uh, better for even somebody uh, larger than me. Okay? Across from me is your, your vanity. Got an undercount amount sink. Good countertop space for all the lotions and potions. Uh, you have a storage underneath here, which comes with a, its own little container. <laughs> to my left is, uh, well, I'm going to call that your pantry. Or your pantry. Your closet where you put all your towels and things. However, interestingly enough, your TP holder is right there. Oh. Isn't that an interesting place for yeah. it? Yeah. It's but right it's not there. behind the door. The door doesn't go down there. That's a, a little cubby. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. it's so it's, it's, it's hidden it's away. Out of the which way. Is nice. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then above me is another cabinet. I'll stand up to reach. It'll be a little bit easier. So you can put some more stuff up in there if you want. Um, what storage it doesn't have under the sink can make up up there. And you got a couple octopus hangers. So if you put your towels up there that are wet or whatever, you can do that. All right. Let's not forget the medicine cabinet. Great position for someone my height. I can see my entire self in there at six foot four. There we go. It opens on that side, which is weird. Um, so yeah, uh, lots of room for the, 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 the drugs, oh, medicines, right? Okay. So, um, don't personally, it's just a me thing. I don't like glass doors in the showers uh, on travel trailers, driving down the road, they bounce and it's a mess. Also, as you can see, it does limit the space. However, you would normally going this way it's just we're we're sort of not level right now so it's sort of in the wrong position but it'd just be nicer if it was the retracting type it would give you complete access um great shower standard rv shower 30 by 60. i don't have my tape measure on me but it's a 30 by 60. i'm in the bubble which is great so you could be six eight maybe six nine max right six eight i'm six four yeah six eight six nine max okay shower heads in a decent place it's nice and you got three shelves here in the back for for your shampoos and stuff so yeah pretty good shower lisa very nice just, again i would i would use the retractable door it's just a me thing i don't know what do y'all think retractable door or glass door retractable see imagine driving down the road and that comes loose you're just gonna have glass everywhere i, I just i don't know i mean trust me we do a lot of traveling if you guys follow the channel and every time we get some you know somewhere and open up the rv something is shaking it just there's there's no way around it and so that's, I don't know, it's just anything. I, I actually had the little uh, screws on the, um, I, I have in my bathroom a mirror, so it's held up by these little screws and the little screws have, have vibrated loose yeah, the, um, from the mirror. The, the, this little <laughs> knob on the fan, the, the uh, screw wiggled out and came out. Yep. Um, the, the toilet seat knob came off, you know, underneath that, that attaches the toilet seat to the toilet. We just need it, to get some Loctite, I think. I'm telling you. But th the point is, there's a lot of vibration when you go down the road. And uh, there's certain states where roads are better than others, right? And there's some states that the roads are really bad. We won't mention that, Arkansas. <coughs> and and um, South Carolina. South Carolina. Anyway. So, um, <laughs> all right. So here we are in the bedroom. And uh, there'll be some storage underneath here. 
We didn't talk about it outside, but there is a dedicated entry into this master from the outside. Uh, the door was locked, so that's why it wasn't open. You got some nice windows in here, Lisa, right? You do. I like that window next to the, the door, The though. shade is here. It's just all the way up, and I can't get to it. I like so, having that extra window. Yeah, and that one over there, too. Yeah. Um, nice bed. This is, um, I don't have, again, my tape measure, but uh, honestly, that looks like a residential queen. I'm pretty sure that's 60 by 80. All right, you have some hanging and or shelf here, depending on how you want to use it. The shelf just moves, okay? There's power in USB down here, so you could put your CPAP either here or on the ground. I'm sure it is the same thing on the other side, okay? There are some cubbies. They're hard to see, but there's some cubbies up where the pillows are, right? Up in there. So you could probably stash your phones up in there. Let's see if there's some power back there. Lisa, grab that for me. Yep. I'm going to go crawl on the bed here. Yes, there is power right there. So yeah, you can uh, tuck your devices up in there for charging, whether it's an iPad or a phone I love or that. tablet or whatever. And then there's the little reading lights yep. as well. Right here on this side, there's another closet. So you have more hanging. So if you wanted to use those others, uh, like the cabinets that are behind Lisa that flank the bed for like folded stuff, you can do all your hanging in here. And you do have four drawers, a couple Very skinny nice. ones and a couple big ones. Yeah, I like it. So yeah, nice design on this one. <coughs> With the rear living, the RL. I don't know, what, what would you think? I mean, this is a standard RV kitchen, if you will. Not too big, not too small. It's about the size of our kitchen. We'd like to have the little flip up, which gives you that little extra space. Now that being said, if it's up, it, it's gonna you know, make it a little bit more challenging to get down the hallway, so I know why they don't have it. Uh, but countertop is a premium, so. It is, and if you're, you know, you've got plenty of seating in, in, in here, so you can entertain. And if you're making one of those 37 dishes, yeah. you know, for, for food, that, that little flip that, that up little gives you that, it gives you the extra yeah. that you need. That being said, though, the table is pretty close by, so you can yeah. use that if you need to. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let us know what you think in the comments below, all right? Until we see you again somewhere on the road. Be safe.